Whether your child is involved in after-school activities or spends a lot of time out with friends, it's a good idea to get them a phone so you can always reach them. If it'll be your kid's first mobile device, it's important to have a conversation and set clear guidelines to ensure they're ready to accept the responsibility that comes with owning a cell phone or smartphone. Today we are going to review top 5 phone for kids, and we are going to start with Kids Connect KC2. The Kids Connect KC2 is a 4G GPS tracker that's capable of sending and receiving calls and text messages. It's designed for parents who want to keep tabs on their children while they're away from home, but who aren't keen to give them a full-on cell phone. This device has a 1.4-inch color touchscreen, an ID card slot, three programmable speed dial buttons, and an SOS button that will text the phone's location to any of the three designated contacts. A lanyard is also included so a kid can wear it around their neck and not risk losing it while they're out and about. Parents can download the Secure Tracker app for real-time GPS tracking, voice monitoring, and a geofencing function that sends a notification if a child leaves a predetermined area. Parents like the peace of mind the Kids Connect KC2 provides, especially since it lacks apps and web browsing. Setup is fairly easy thanks to Kids Connect's excellent tech support. Battery life is about 24 hours, which means kids, or their parents, will need to be vigilant about keeping it charged. Some users also note that the build quality could be better, given that kids can be clumsy, the Kids Connect KC2 is bound to receive some noticeable dings and scratches. The Kids Connect KC2 may not impress the kids, but its ample security features will make their parents feel much more at ease when they're out of the house. And as always the link is in the description below. The Motorola Moto E is among the most affordable smartphones available, but it doesn't skimp on features, making it a fantastic compromise for older kids who want a smartphone and parents who are reluctant to pay for one. It has a 6.2-inch HD Plus display with thin bezels, Snapdragon 632 octa-core CPU, 32GB onboard storage, expandable up to 128GB via microSD, and a fingerprint sensor. The 13-megapixel rear camera has a 2-megapixel depth lens so kids can experiment with blur and focus. There's also a 5-megapixel selfie camera, with light use, the Moto E can last up to 2 days on a single charge but that drops to 11 hours with heavy streaming and gaming. Parental controls are accessible via the digital well-being section in the Moto E settings. Fans of the Moto E like its durable build, solid battery life, and responsive fingerprint sensor. Also, as a fully unlocked phone, it can be easily added to a family plan on any major network. Critics of the Moto E say its camera quality is lacking and the display could be crisper. Also, it runs on Android 10 with no plans for an upgrade to the current Android 11 OS, which could affect its usability and security down the line. Despite its few limitations, the Motorola Moto E is a great starter smartphone for preteens. It'll serve them well for a couple of years until they're ready for something more sophisticated. The Lively Flip Phone is designed for senior citizens, but it's also suitable for small children and kids with special needs who need a basic device for contacting mom and dad away from home. This phone features a 3.2-inch color display, a large backlit keypad, a GPS tracker, and built-in brain-sharpening games. It provides up to 12 hours of talk time and can remain on standby for as long as 20 days on a single charge. A charging cradle is included, which kids can keep on their dresser or nightstand so it doesn't get misplaced. The Lively Flip phone even has Amazon Alexa baked in for voice-activated calls and text messaging, and unlike other Alexa devices, an Amazon account isn't required to use it here. Those who have bought the Lively Flip phone for their children or older relatives say the basic design makes it easy for them to use. It arrives unlocked, but emergency features, such as the urgent response button, only work with a Lively phone plan. There's also no guarantee the phone will activate on other networks. Although there's no built-in web browser, Alexa connects to the internet to answer questions, which parents may want to monitor. Although the Lively Flip is geared toward the older generation, younger kids eager to own their first grown-up phone will gravitate toward this accessible, colorful device. And again the link is in the description. The iPhone SE, 2020, is the best starter iPhone for kids who are responsible enough to own their own Apple device. It's the cheapest and smallest of the current iPhone models, but it also boasts some impressive specs. The second-generation iPhone SE is powered by Apple's Zippy A13 Bionic chip. 
It comes in three storage capacities, 64GB, 128GB, and 256GB, although anything beyond 64GB may be excessive for most kids. Other features include a 4.7-inch retina display, a 12-megapixel rear-facing camera, and a 7-megapixel selfie-slash-facetime camera. For peace of mind, parents can monitor their child's phone use and set content restrictions in the screen time section of the settings app. The iPhone SE, 2020, receives plenty of praise for its value, and despite being the least expensive iPhone on the market, its A13 chip yields blazingly fast speeds. However, its battery is the weakest among the current iPhone lineup, and maxes out at 13 hours. Savvier kids may also be turned off by the phone's heavy bezels, which make it look dated next to the iPhone 12. The iPhone SE, 2020, is still more money than some parents might be willing to spend on a new phone for their child. It's the most expensive phone on this list, but relative to flagship iPhones, it's practically a bargain and a fine introduction to the iPhone ecosystem. Nokia released its Nokia 3310 3G phone to appeal to nostalgic millennials and Gen X heirs, but it's also a fantastic introductory phone for those parents to give to their children. The 3310 3G is a refresh of the original 3310 that was first released in 2000. Instead of the monochromatic, brick-like form of the 3310, the 3310 3G has a slimmer, more colorful build that's still durable enough to survive a few steep falls. Other updates include a 2.4-inch color LCD, a 2-megapixel rear camera, and a micro SD card slot that expands the paltry 128 megabytes onboard storage by as much as 32 gigabytes. Like its predecessor, the Nokia 3310 3G has exceptional battery life, it lasts up to a week on a single charge, and comes with the classic snake game, which is bound to captivate a new generation of kids. Positive reviews for the Nokia 3310 3G call out its long-lasting battery, great sound quality, and a sturdiness not found in most phones today. However, it suffers from a clunky interface and a lack of Wi-Fi, although a silver lining for parents here is that it may discourage their kids from doing any substantial, unsupervised web browsing. Overall, the Nokia 3310 3G is the best choice for most kids who need a reliable starter phone. It's not as flashy as a smartphone but it offers longevity, reliability, style, and snake. It's time to make the decision which one to get. Check the link in the description to check the price and get yours. If you like this review don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below. We'll see you in the next advisor bit video. Till then have fun.